The arduous task of removing the spent furons from one of the reactors at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi reactor got underway this past Monday afternoon. The containers housing the fuel rods are five and a half meters long, 2.1 meters wide and weigh 91 metric tons. TEPCO expects to retrieve 1,533 fuel rods from reactor number four. The rods themselves are four meters long and one inch in diameter. Once 22 assemblies are placed into each fuel cask, they are expected to be moved to the shared cooling pool outside the reactor. In the event of an earthquake, the containers should cushion the impact of falling from a height of 32 meters. However, testing was only done from a height of 17 meters, far from the safety standard. According to TEPCO, the boundaries of the damaged plant could be exposed to as much as 5.3 sieverts of radiation, should the housing become damaged. Japan's Agency for Natural Resources and Energy commented on the estimate, saying that it will not have a big effect on the surrounding area. However, there are considerable concerns about the complicated decommissioning process, which may prove to be longer due to debris and rubble in the cooling tanks. See a story that really should be animated? Suggest stories to Tomo News Now!